We got to learn to take care of the basketball better at the end of the game. I'm not real happy about that, but I am very happy about the win. They got a very good basketball team. I don't know how they just won two games. Stay up here, big. Uh, they're going. I think they'll still have a chance to win their conference. Uh, they're very aggressive. They they got a lot of lateral quickness. They were able to deny and keep us out of some of the things that we wanted to do offensively. We never got an uncontested shot. They were very quick on getting to the basketball. I thought we missed a, running our offense. I, I thought we missed some of our, our post people that's wide open several times where they switched. But our guards either were too little or we took one or two dribbles more than we should have, and then they were able to cover them up. But uh, it gives us something to look at. You know, it gives us something to go in and look at. Now the next game on our schedule is Rice, which beat this team in overtime. So, And we got to play Rice at their place. So it's going to be a – a tough conference schedule, us going on the road Monday and playing on Tuesday, but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Very proud of our basketball team and, and uh, non-conference schedule. We played probably one of the top ten non-conference schedules in the country. We lost two games that we shouldn't have lost. Uh, and, um, you know, right now we very well could be sitting here 9-0, and but we're 7-2 and and that's all we can do about it. Well, Cecil, we, we, I've said all along we got seven, maybe eight starters with Tamiya. Um, we got Lex back. Lex is not 100%. Uh, and I played her tonight. I don't know if I should or shouldn't have, but uh, I still played her. She wanted to play, and she didn't, she didn't hurt us, but you could tell laterally it was tough on her to cover. Um, She'll get that back. She's got another three or four or five days. she got tomorrow to rest, and maybe we'll let, let her take another day or two off. We're going to need her to beat Rice. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're going to need her basketball IQ. We're going to need her uh, toughness. And uh, she'll get back 100%, but she's not there yet. But uh, right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I, didn't, I think our guards played probably their worst game of the nine games combined together. I think that. Uh, now, does that mean I'd trade them? No. Does that mean I'd swap them? No. No, I wouldn't. But we got to come back in and we got to work on some things. Can you expand a little bit on how you said seven starters predominantly for this game? Just how much of a luxury that is to have seven girls to get all these starters for the line? Well, we've got one or two others. I think Jada Granham sitting, sitting on that sideline over there, which is a sophomore, is, I think has made as much improvement in the last two or three weeks as anybody we got. But you got Nasia and you got Ksenia. Uh, that you're going in, you've been rotating in and out there. So she didn't get a chance to go in the game. Maybe this is the type of game she could have helped us in. But I just didn't, I had that trust factor in those two. Nasia's got to get a little tougher in there, too. They got the elbow and hitting her and stuff like that. And she went down. We got to get her a little tougher. Houston had a lot more size and length than you guys in a lot of positions. You're still about rebounding by 14. A big advantage. Well, they were the number four rebounding team in the country. And we out rebound them, what, 40 to 27. Now, you look at Memphis, Saturday we won the ball game and we got 27 rebounds, they got 42. Who knows? You know, you talk about your kids out rebounding somebody and you do and you lose a game. I've done that. So, but we can be happy with this. Uh, you know, old reliable Courtney's coming in there with nine rebounds. I thought she had a couple of good looks. Usually she knocks down, but, you know, we were 20 up and missed a chip shot. And that's where the game pivoted. All games have a pivot point. And we hit that chip shot, and we're up 22 or 24. And they're on their heels. Instead, they go down and hit a three. And now here they come. They're running downhill on us. So we got to hit that chip shot. I mean, it was a one-footer with nobody on you. And one of our best players. So we got we to do that. We got to take care of that. We did some of that Saturday. That's what let Memphis back in the game. Well, we got a pretty good practice squad. Our guys are really good. They're they're really all of them are ex basketball players, and they they're, they've got some basketball IQ. And we can put a the scout that we put in. We go through with them, and they're pretty good at, at getting us ready. I thought early on we handled their pressure. Now we ended up with 15 turn 19 turnovers, and they're averaging turning people over 20 a game. So we're they they turned us over 19 times. I think with five minutes to go in the uh, Fourth quarter, I think we had like 13 or 14 turnovers. So that's where we should have ended up, to be honest with you. 
And we didn't get into shooting free throws at all, I don't think, the fourth quarter. I think fourth quarter, they never did get, they didn't have, uh, well, there late when they got to fouling us, well, they got into two shot fouls. But early on, you know, we go four or five minutes and we're still, they, they've only got two team fouls. So usually we're down the stretch, we're shooting free throws. Coach, you're the highest ranked team in Tennessee, the AP Pro. You're 18 in that ranking. I mean, this is not a huge surprise coming off the momentum you had last year and the players you had back. Can you just talk about just, you know, handling success, dealing with success, and knowing that, that you're in a position to be really good? Really, you don't need to get me started on that, Cecil, because I'll probably say some things negative that I shouldn't say. But, you know, it. we can't get people, some of the people in our conference, to play a good game. We've got people that's played three and four Division three games. And we'll be their biggest game. We've got to go in their gym, and they've talked all year, we've got to beat Middle Tennessee. So they play their best game and get a win. It really hurts our conference. Right now, we're carrying the conference along with Rice. Bottom line. And you can go look look up your net rankings and see where the rest of our teams and you then you go look at their schedules. Their coaches are the ones that make the schedule. Here at this school, that man standing back there and Matt make our schedule. And we're not going to play anybody early that will not help our net rankings. We're not going to do it. Tennessee Tech is a rival game, but Tennessee Tech's picked to win the OVC. I'm telling you, I looked at some of the names of some of the schools that we're playing, I've never heard of them. I didn't know there's universities or colleges with those names, seriously. And where they come up with them, I don't know. And I've been doing this now for 50 years. You know, so, you know, you shouldn't have got me started on this, Cecil. That's okay, can you just comment on how the players Oh, okay, that was a question maybe I should have answered it though. Yeah. Well, uh, we, our, our kids know how to handle success. I mean, really. It came out today, I don't know if y'all know this, our basketball team GPA is 3.7. Now, I don't know that I, if you took every semester I ever had here at Middle Tennessee and put them together, if I'd had a three point. So they're pretty intelligent. They know what's going on. They, they know how to handle success. And you know, when you practice hard every day, we don't go out there and just go through the motions. They go, they're out there, they're after it. They're diving after loose balls, taking charges. Ripping on rebounds from the time we start practice, they're there for an hour and 45 minutes to two hours and 15 minutes going wide open. So that's how you learn how to handle success. The, the schedule you mentioned with other teams, is that something you've seen change over your career as far as the types of teams, the team of schedule? Is that oh, absolutely. We got coaches that are more concerned about getting, because at the end of the year, Sam, you got a team sitting there 25 and, and 8. Their coach is trying to get a power five job. And they're, they're not – the ADs and them are not looking back to see what their schedule is made of there, or somebody's not. You follow me? I got you. Yeah, they're getting a power five job. And, you know, it's, it's – it, that's what – it's very it's very evident. And if you luck up and win some games, then you get a chance maybe to go to the NIT or something like that, you know. But it's uh, – it, it's, this is not something that's just happened. Chris will tell you, it's something we battle every summer in our conference meetings. And uh, we can only control what we do here at Middle Tennessee. And we control it, I think, pretty good. Because I think if you look back, even before I got here, Middle Tennessee was playing some of the best programs around the country. And we've refused to play any Division II. There's never been a Division II team on my schedule since I've been here. Now, we played some in exhibition. But I'm not wanting to pad my record so I can go to a power five. As far as I'm concerned, I'm where I need to be. Now, my AD may reprimand me after this is over with. <laughs> if he does, it won't be the first time, I'll show you. <laughs> Any other questions for Coach? Don't get my players started on that either, okay? Thank you, guys. We appreciate you coming. Yeah, it was a lot of adjusting for us just because we hadn't went up against a team that was like that. And so I think what we really had to do is just get used to what they were doing and just kind of like go our pace and not speed up to them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, she's really stepped up for us since Lex has been out. Um, it's been a good opportunity for us. And I, like, told them over and over, I would not want to be a guard in that game. That, that's the toughest, like, we've had to work but to get a win. Um, so, she, I think she, she just does a good job for us at staying um, poised at the point guard position. So. We just uh, saw that the paint was open, so we just um, took what they gave us. So we, we tried to attack them in the paint all the time, and it worked out well. Yeah, I think honestly, like looking back, which we'll look at it more, but I think like where we started pressing them more, it was like kind of slowing the game down than what it was, so less possessions. Um, but no, I think that we just had to, you know, ex we started getting a little sloppy with the ball because we got a little comfortable. Um, so just growth in that area. But um, yeah, I mean, putting the ball in the hole, I mean, obviously these two do it um, easily. So just getting it to people who can score. Yeah, it's really helpful for us just because just moving everybody around and different people are on different nights. So whoever's on is who we're going to be looking for every single night or every single time. And so I think just having everybody moving around, it allows us to see different looks. And so which gives us like different people being leading scorers every night. It's just practicing. It's the middle of the season, so it has to be like that. Uh, I feel like we would be worried if it didn't work because uh, we started off the season pretty good with press and defense, and everything was kind of smooth. So we just need to build on it and get better every day. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Nina, Coach Nina was talking to us today before the pregame, like our mindset has to change. So we're always used to being the underdog, like known as um, little middle. Um, but right now we have the target on our back. So um, it's definitely different, especially in a leadership position because you got to have that drive like Coach talks about, but you also have to have that uh, humility and we can get B on any given night. And like this is the best team, like this is the best team we think we've played so far. Like they, we said they, they have the potential to um, win out. So. Um, just keeping a, like a calm mind, but also continuing to work hard and um, we can shoot for the stars. So.